how do you plan for your first property investment right, without being stressed out over the monthly installments. Now I've actually came up with a plan and the things to look at that has helped me to now own multiple properties in just a period of less than two years. So today I'm going to share about what are these things and factors that I look at so that I am actually stress-free and worry-free when I make these property investments. Okay, so first off, number one is to look at your cash reserves or your CPF reserves. Okay, what I mean by this is to actually check out how much funds you have to use for your property investment. You know, after setting aside your emergency fund or your rainy day fund, right? So this fund allows, that means this is basically what you have on access, right? You won't touch this amount of money even in the event of any, uh, let's say, uh, medical emergencies or any sudden urgent uh, things that you need to spend huge amount of cash on. So this is the extra cash, right? So you want to look at how much of this cash uh, funds you have. Okay, that's number one. Okay, second thing you should look at is your objective for this investment. Okay, why is the objective very important? Okay, because with having a clear objective, right, allows you to plan for your property investment better. Okay, whether this property, is it for rental play? Is it for a capital gain? Is it for just a own stay? And then, you know, how long a period do you actually plan to stay in this property? Okay, so all these things actually make a difference depending on the time period and your objective. Because if let's say you plan to stay in a property, chances are you wouldn't want to move in the next three or even four years. It, it's probably going to be for a longer period of time. So what these also means is that you need to set aside more cash buffer, right? Or cash reserves, right? So that in the unfortunate situation where either you or your spouse actually loses uh, his or her job, right? How long can you guys actually survive, right? Based that means you have funds to actually tight and hold down this property even in the next few months or uh, let's say six months to even a year that you take to find a job. So how long is this holding period that you can survive for? Okay, because that's very important and it's extremely crucial to allow you to still pay for your monthly installments right, without you worrying about it. Okay, so that is very critical. Right, so the plan and the objective right, for your property investment is one of the most important things that you should look at. All right? And the third thing okay, is whether this property is going to be a new launch project or is this going to be something that is already completed, that means a resale property. Okay, why is this important? Because it also affects the timeline of your payment. Okay, if let's say it's a, a resale property, so you, you purchase it, you probably can move in in the next uh, two to three months time. Okay, so that also means that your monthly installments will start kicking in in two to three months time. Okay, and on top of that, if you currently own a home, right, your first home, you also need to factor in the time you need to actually sell your home Right, and the time for the funds to actually get come back to you, you know, after lessing off your outstanding loans if there's any. Okay, so this is all about the depends depending on the type of property that you purchase. Okay, on the other hand, if you look at a new launch, then chances are it is still under construction. Right, so how long a period is it before TOP? That means how long are they going to take to complete and build this property? Because for new launches, the payments are made in a progressive manner, meaning uh, let's say at the first 10% of com after they build the foundation, right? Your monthly installment starts 
kicking in. Okay, so after maybe another six months, they call for another ten percent. So now it's at twenty percent, and then your installments would have doubled from the first round of it, and so on and so forth. Right. So this would allow you to plan for the amount of money that you need to factor in every month to repay the monthly installments. Okay. So very simply, right? It is actually not difficult to plan for your first property investment. And again, I stress that it is all about the planning, right? With proper planning and financial calculations and assessment, right? It allows you to have almost a 99% worry-free investment, all right? So if you need any other information, right? Do check out my uh, other videos, right? Which you can find either on my Facebook page or my blog at www.propertygrowthstrategies.com right? If not, if you have any other questions that you'd like to ask or any experiences that you'd like to share with me, please go ahead and comment right down below. I'd like to hear from you what you think. And this is Mark, Property Growth Strategist and I'll see you soon.